Hello Virgo, this is your bonus reading for the first half of April. You guys came in third as the most viewed video for the first half of the month, so thank you guys so very much for all of the love and support as always. This is general and it's not going to resonate with every single Virgo out there, so please do take from this reading whatever makes sense for you and let the rest go. If you're interested in your own personal private reading at this time, all of that information is down below in the description box and I will also have a list of all of the decks that are used for this reading Virgo. So the two card decks that I chose this time around for the focus messages is the Truth Rising deck by Fire Witch Tarot and then we'll grab either one or two messages from the Messages of Love Oracle Cards deck by All Things Intuitive. So let's go Virgo, let's take a look and see what it is that you need to focus on for this bonus reading. Angels and Spirit Guides please for Virgo for cross watchers and anyone else who's been guided to tune in let's take a look and see all right i'm guided to this one here actually stubborn <laughs> this person is stuck in their ways this could be you this could be the person that you are focused on for this reading this could be both of you as well that's stubborn energy okay so let's add some dialogue to this and see what comes forward from the messages of love deck angels and spirit guides for virgo for this bonus reading first half of april all right let's see guided to this one here strictly sexual this connection is passionate but not enduring okay and perhaps part of this stubborn energy virgo could be you're maybe refusing to believe that it's just strictly all about sex and that it could be more than that we'll take a look let's see all right so let's dive right into this with the pining rose love oracle deck by calico moon Angels and Spirit Guides for Virgo for this bonus reading, first half of April. So there's a connection here, guys, for some of you where it could just all be about sex and nothing further. And you might also be dealing with a person where it's just part of their personality to be very stubborn. Okay, so let's see. Look at this, we have so close. So we're already starting off with a card all about intimacy, that special closeness that we experience with somebody, um, certainly tied into sex, making love, the intimate moments that we share with somebody. But let's take a look and see if we can actually take this further than what's going on in the bedroom, you know? We've got Dancing Through My Dreams. So from your standpoint, Virgo, you might actually be dreaming about this person. You might even have love for this individual, but do they actually see it that way? Right now we've got a stalemate. That is two of swords energy. You might be dealing with an air sign here, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. There are choices that need to be made here, but perhaps you're either struggling with those choices, Virgo, or your person is, or you both are, and there is not a whole lot of movement going on here when it comes to the two of you. We do have messages here, so when it comes to communication, perhaps that as well is at a stalemate where you guys are not conversing, you're not talking. We have forbidden. So for some of you guys, this connection is off limits. It's all about sex. And I know you guys have heard me say this in other readings, but it's still coming through here. Either yourself, Virgo, or your person, whoever it is that you're focused on for this reading, it's coming through as forbidden because somebody's already in a commitment in a committed relationship. And so 
part of the reason why perhaps it's just strictly sexual is because they can't offer you anything more. Depending, of course, on who's already taken here. And look at this next card. We have Be Mine. So perhaps, Virgo, you feel like you're being pulled in two directions. If you are the person that's committed to somebody else, yet you feel drawn to this other person. And that could be reversed as well. We have Hurt. Either they hurt you or it just hurts you to be away from this person. But yeah, it's coming through as a partnership that is forbidden. It's like that forbidden fruit. You know that you shouldn't be in it, but you can't help yourself. You want what you can't have. We have waiting, followed by red hot, untouchable. I mean, all of these cards, yearning. Okay, so this is a connection that is at a stalemate because it's forbidden. It's almost like they shouldn't have touched you to begin with. You guys should not have crossed that line to begin with. This is a partnership that was off limits to begin with. But you're still yearning for them. They're still yearning for you. And perhaps part of this hurt energy is, is that it's hurting you to not be with them because either you can't if you're already committed or they are. And it's just off limits. We have a piano right there. Somebody play a piano. Somebody is a musician, perhaps. Or music plays a huge part in this connection for some of you. Let's add to this. Mystic Moon Oracles for you, Virgo. Let's see what else. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo for this bonus reading. First half of April, what else do we need to know here? Tribe, family. Perhaps you feel, Virgo, that this person is a part of your tribe, that even though you guys can't be together, you will all, always consider them to be a part of this tribe. Your soul family and your actual family here in the 3D. This could also be friends who feel like family to you. They just have your back, they're there for you. We have the purge card coming through. So maybe you had to let this connection go because it is off limits. And if you are committed elsewhere, you had to purge this out. This was a cycle that needed to come to completion We have admired, falling right below stalemate. So I feel here, Virgo, the connection is still here. They still think about you, you still think about them. They have a lot of admiration for you and vice versa. But this stalemate energy is preventing either one of you from reaching out towards each other because it is a forbidden connection. But I do feel you guys might actually want each other still. But for some of you, you might be dealing with a person who, for one thing, is very stubborn and can't offer you anything more than sex. I mean, it's very passionate, very red hot and fiery energy between the two of you. So not only do you miss the closeness and the intimacy that you experience from the sexual relationship that you guys have had, but I feel here that...
they were still able to affect you in your heart space to the point where you might actually have love for this individual. We have return. You might have even heard from this person, either a text, a phone call, letting you know that they want you back, that they want to hear from you, that they want to talk. They want you to come over. And perhaps you have been hesitant in that. We do have that purge card here letting me know that you might have distanced yourself or walked away from this connection. Knowing that possibly it was all about sex for some of you guys. But I just feel part of your vibe, Virgo, that you're fighting it because you might actually have love in your heart for this person. Even if it did just start off as just strictly sex. I feel it could have evolved beyond that for you. Vibrations. Even though it's forbidden, even though you guys know that this is an untouchable connection. It's coming through here. Energetically, you guys are still picking up off of each other's vibrations there. You might certainly be connecting in the fifth dimension here. Not in the 3D, but in the 5D, yes. We have observers, so they're actually checking you out from a distance still. They still want you. It's falling right below be mine. But look at these next two cards. We've got refocus and then we've got surrender, both feminine representation there. Oh, and I didn't even see this right behind it, karmic partner. So for some of you guys, this represents a karmic partnership that you had to release. You had to let it go. A cycle that needs to phase out, cycle that needs to come to completion. And I just feel for my Virgos, you had to distance yourself. You had to sever ties here because it was coming through as a karmic partnership, perhaps. And another interpretation of this, too, is that perhaps the person that you were committed to could have turned out to be a karmic partnership. And in order to build a life with this connection, with this person, you would have to distance yourself from this karmic in order to explore where the future could go with the person that you ultimately want to be with. They are coming through letting you know that they want you back. They want you to return. But if you're just coming back just for a booty call, just for strictly sex, then perhaps you might want to reconsider that. And maybe you've already done that, which is why we've got stalemate energy, surrender, and refocusing elsewhere, switching directions in your life, Virgo. Okay, so let's add some tarot to this. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo, for this bonus reading, first half of April. Hangman, new perspective, being able to see things from a different perspective. And it is about sacrifice. It is about surrendering. And we already have that card coming through here. So it is picking up off of that hangman vibe where you had to let it go. Experiencing enlightenment in your own life, Virgo. And perhaps once you made the decision to let go from this person, knowing that perhaps it was just all about sex and that it was forbidden to begin with, it brought you peace of mind. It brought you a sense of peace and calm because you needed to purge out and release what was no longer meant to be in your life. And that allowed you to bring in better, not just in your love life, but all areas of your life, Virgo. And perhaps you've already seen those changes happening. But one thing I do love about the hangman energy is that it's a time of transition and change. It's a time of healing. It's a time of leaving the past behind. 
it came in for a reason and it's now in the past and it's done. And perhaps you resolved your own issues, your own problems in your own life simply by letting go, surrendering and refocusing. Perhaps you were hurting yourself by attaching yourself to this connection that maybe was never meant to be yours to begin with. And it's not easy to let go sometimes, but I feel for those resonating with this, you've done the work. We have the Three of Wands right after that, which is fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be your person. This is all about awaiting results. This is preparation. This is foresight. So after you released and purged, now you're awaiting the results of what the future has in store for you. And look at this. You've got the Six of Swords right here, which is tranquility ahead. The road ahead looks a lot calmer for you, Virgo. I feel you've already been, <clears throat> excuse me, you've already been through a very trying time in your life, certainly in your love life. And look at the next card. We've got that tower moment. Okay, so you've already been through chaos. You've already been through something very difficult here. And it could have been a fire sign that brought this tower down. Unexpectedly. Divine intervention is needed, possibly, in this connection to even bring you guys back in touch with one another. Now, the Tower card is one of two cards in Tarot where there is a blessing in disguise that's represented by that. When we go through this traumatic experience, you know, it's very difficult for us to even see it as a blessing, but give it some time and it'll present itself in the way that it's meant to in your life. And if you have to go through that grieving process over this broken relationship, then allow yourself that time to just go through it and bring about that healing that this hanged man energy is bringing into your life, Virgo. Because... In order to welcome in this tranquil, serene, positive vibe coming in for you for future energies here, Virgo, you've got some work to do based off of what the tower is offering you. This opportunity to rebuild, to create a stronger foundation for your love life and for yourself moving forward. If you've been dealing with some financial issues, you'll be overcoming that you might have dealt with that but you will overcome that some of you guys we already know you're in separation and some of you might have even gone through a very painful divorce more fire energy coming through here so Leo Aries Sagittarius playing a huge part in this equation here and then we've got the page of swords air energy somebody very much in their thoughts here so it could be this person who wants you back they're checking you out from a distance they still want you they know this is forbidden they know it's off limits but they're still thinking about you for some of you i gotta say they just want to hear from you because it's all about the sex so but that doesn't apply to everybody for some of you guys Yes, it could have started off that way, but I have a feeling there are feelings that got intertwined in all this. Keeping it casual initially. So you might actually be dealing with an air sign here who can't seem to stop thinking about you, Virgo. Checking you out on social media. They've got questions perhaps that they want to ask. Maybe they never had closure here. But they're unable to send these messages for now, I feel. Either you've blocked them, they've blocked you, or it's just not the right time. It is coming forward with that stalemate and forbidden energy. And then we've got the tower represented here. What you're looking for is a stable life. 
somebody that you can have a happy life with, somebody that you want to share a family with, have children with, or this could certainly be the father of your children, if you already have children with the person that you're in a committed partnership with. And some of you guys could have certainly had children with this person where it was all about the intimacy and nothing more. So however way that's playing a part. You've got the Ten of Cups here, which is beautiful energy. It's contentment. It's joy. It's happiness. Inner happiness, fulfillment, a dream come true for you, Virgo. So the question is, for your particular situation, who is your dream come true? Is it the partner that you're with, if you resonate with that? Or is it this person where it just started off as strictly a sexual partnership and somewhere along the line you developed feelings for this person, perhaps even pictured a future with them? But in order to make this happen, you guys have to be on the same page. So you got a question. Why do they want you back? Do they want you back just for sex, for the casual hookup? Or are they ready to extend themselves to you fully to be able to love you and care for you and be with you in the way that you're ultimately wanting a relationship? We do have the two of pentacles here, which is your own energy balancing act. So if you feel you're juggling at this time, Virgo, you know, that's exhausting. And there will come a time where you're just going to want to stop juggling. You're walking a thin line here and you need to figure out ultimately what is it that you're wanting here? Where is it that you want to invest your time, your heart, your energy? Is it with this person who wants you back? And there's still a potential that it could all just be about sex? Or do you stick around in a partnership that you might already be committed to? And for some of you guys, you might not be fulfilled in that partnership. So you can bring about this Six of Swords energy, find tranquility in your life but you've got some decisions here that you need to figure out for yourself. You can find happiness in your life, in your love life, certainly, but there just has to be freedom from anything forbidden, anything untouchable. Relationships where it is strictly sexual and nothing more than that. So it's time to go into hermit mode, which is Virgo energy, and really reevaluate life and where it's going. And if it needs to turn the corner somehow, if you need to switch directions to bring about the type of future that you're wanting in your life, in all areas of your life, including love, of course, then that is your choice. That is your prerogative. You have control of where you're headed. Let's add to this with Romance Angels. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo. What else do we need to know for this bonus reading for the first half of April? Please bring it forward for me. It's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So if you and this person are meant to work things out, Virgo, it's going to take some time. Divine timing is here, is required. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Exactly. And that's a part of that hangman energy is healing and leaving things behind because you can't go back in time and change anything. It's a done deal. It's happened. All you can do is learn from that and move forward. And that's also what this tower moment is trying to get you to do, Virgo. To rebuild a stronger foundation for yourself. 
to build from the ground up if everything's been leveled out as far as your connection with this person. You guys can start over, but there are certain aspects of this connection that needs to change. If you're both free to be together, then there are no obstacles. But I feel that currently there are, which is why patience, waiting, divine timing is at play here. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations also needed here. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. If there are feelings here, that is, if you are both actually loving each other instead of just wanting each other for the physical connection, taking it beyond just strictly sex. You got to be able to sit down and tell each other how you feel to move to the next level beyond what's going on with just the physical connection. Trust. Situations calling for you to have faith that if this is meant to be, it will be. But you both have to be on the same page here. Okay? So let's add some dialogue messages to this, Virgo. Let's start with this deck here by Angelic Revelation 144. This is the Naked Flame Healing Messages deck. So some of these cards could be picking up off of your own heart space, Virgo. This could also be picking up, of course, from the person that you're focused on for this reading. We'll grab a few from here. Take whichever one you're guided towards. So this is either you speaking or your person and that one card flying way over there. Let's grab this bottom. Oh my God. That's interesting. Let me grab this one here. All right. What do we have? Look at this one. Twin flame marriage. So some of you guys might resonate with a twin flame connection. Again, either you're already married and you're in a twin flame connection and you're married to that person and we have third party situations here, forbidden energy, untouchable. Somebody came into your life, perhaps Virgo, where it was just strictly all about sex and caused issues, brought this tower moment down in your marriage. Okay, that's for some of you guys. The other interpretation of this is we do have this return card coming through here. And if you see this person as your twin flame somehow, despite how you guys first got together and if, if it was all about sex, it could have evolved beyond that since then. And a reconnection, a return into one another's life could certainly result in marriage for the two of you coming together. But the only way that can happen is if whoever is attached and I'm feeling here more so that it could be you, Virgo. You need to detach from that partnership if you're no longer invested or happy in that so that you can be free to be with this person. Okay, so that's coming through for some of you. All right, let's start. First one. I know that you are my soul spouse. Our souls are entwined for eternity. I have dreams about our past lives and our future. Whoa. Look at this. And we have the Dancing Through My Dreams card that came through earlier. So I really feel here, Virgo, you might be dreaming of this person. They might even be dreaming about you too. Next one. I am your secret admirer. I check up on you often through social media. I ask friends and family about you. Yep, we already knew that. So they're definitely checking you out Virgo, and it's coming through with that vibe of a secret admirer, possibly because you don't even know they're doing this. Next message. I am working through my fears so that I can explain everything to you one day. Okay, 
especially Virgo, if you're dealing with somebody who is stubborn, part of that stubbornness is that they can't seem to bring themselves to just tell you how they're feeling. You know, if they're one to guide their heart space or if they're not all about their feelings and emotions and maybe you triggered something in them that finally made them get past that barrier and it triggers them and it scares them and maybe they just need a little bit more time to be able to explain where they're coming from to you that it's actually beyond just a sexual connection and that they actually have love for you that's a potential here Next one, I am hiding my true feelings because I feel so vulnerable with you. I have lied and told you bullshit from my ego. If I let you in, you could break my heart. Losing you has caused me so much pain. Oh my God, was I not just, look at this, hurt. It hurts them to not be with you. They are hiding their true feelings. They are working through their fears. They are checking you out from a distance. These are all things, Virgo, that perhaps they just don't have the guts to come through and tell you these things. It's part of that stubborn energy. They know they should, but they can't. They're afraid to. Wow. Let's add to this with some additional insight from this deck. You have my heart, soul, lovers, and separation also by Angelic, Revelation 144. Angels and spirit guides, please, for this Virgo bonus reading. All right, Virgo, what else do they have to say to you? Or what is it that you want to say to them? Take whichever ones you're guided towards. For Virgo, let's grab the bottom. All right, let's see. Okay, first one, my friends keep telling me I made a big mistake in letting you go. I wanna fix things between us. I just don't know how to make things right at this time. And that is why Divine timing is at play here. They're not ready. But they will be. Someday they will be. Next message. Whether we are together or when we are apart, you are always in my thoughts and forever in my heart. See? They're afraid to tell you these things, Virgo. They're stubborn. Yeah, it could have all been about sex in the beginning, but I feel it's evolved since then. They do love you. They do care for you. It's not just all about sex at this point, but they're afraid to fess up to that. Part of the reason, too, why maybe they haven't been able to do this or can't is because you're still attached in another partnership. Next message. I enjoy dating and keeping things casual as I'm not wanting to settle down just yet. So this is coming through for some of you where it's still strictly sexual. Okay, so if you're okay with that, then by all means, you know, keep things casual, keep things strictly on a sexual basis, connection with this person. If you're okay with that, Virgo, then that's your prerogative. But if you're not... Some of you guys might be dealing with an individual who's still stuck in this vibe. And if that's not what you're wanting, perhaps that's why we have this tower moment here to get you out of the path of this individual. You know, if that's all they're wanting then, and you're not on the same page, it's time to refocus, get you on a different path where it can lead you to the happiness that you're looking for. Okay, next card. You are my daily motivation. Your soul, the essence of who you are, inspires me and helps me navigate the path of life. Our love will never die because true love lasts forever. This could be a realization that your person has had, even if you guys are at a distance. Last one. My family doesn't understand our connection. I have told them how I feel about you 
and tried to explain it, but they have particular ideals and don't understand our spiritual love. The interesting thing is, remember, we had the tribe card that came through earlier, which is tapped into family. So for some of you guys resonating with this, um, your person's family might not have approved of this connection for whatever reason. But it does say, I have told them how I feel about you and tried to explain it. You know, and this is another reason perhaps why it is worth waiting for because they just need more time to be able to bring this to fruition in the 3D. To be able to break free from those family ties and opinions that are preventing the two of you from coming together. Okay, so let's move on. And let's grab some additional insight from the Lover's Oracle here. All right, angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo, for this bonus reading, first half of April. Oh, wow. I'm going to grab this bottom card. Okay, look at this. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Exactly. That's why divine timing is at play here. Bottom of the deck. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another. And we have the admired card that came through earlier. The qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. This to me is very twin flame and energy. You guys are mirroring each other, Virgo. And we already have twin flame reference through this particular card, twin flame marriage for some of you guys. So for those of you who ultimately are able to work through the challenges going on here, getting past a connection that just started off as sex, and actually falling in love with this person, there could potentially be a happy future here, a happy reconnection and even marriage. That's certainly a potential for some of you guys. All right, so let's grab some healing messages here to add to this reading for you, Virgo. Angels and spirit guides for Virgo for this bonus reading, first half of April. Please bring it forward for me. Oh my. Okay. Those are your cards. Look at this. Here we go again. Divine timing is at play here, Virgo. We've got so many reference here, references here on time and the need to wait. Just have patience to see this unfold in the way that it is meant to, when it is meant to. We've got abundance coming through here. So not only is it blessing you in regard to your love life, but your finances, good health, your family life, your fulfillment, your joy, whatever it is that makes you happy. By way of this abundance, you're blessed with it. And we do have a new beginning here. Either that new beginning is for you and you alone, refocusing elsewhere. You know, there are those of you who are choosing to detach from both partnerships here. Either a third party or a committed relationship where you just weren't fulfilled. Some of you might want a new beginning elsewhere to just start fresh in your life. And part of this new beginning for some of you is a reconnection with the one who wants to be with you, the one that you love. It's coming through here. Amazing. All right, guys, so let's close this out with some final thoughts from the Guardian Angels. Angels and Spirit Guides for Virgo. And let me grab this bottom of the deck. Okay. We have a positive outcome. At this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future 
through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive, and you will create a positive outcome. If positive energy is what you're putting out there, Virgo, that's what you will attract back to you. Lastly, we have courage. Dare to be different, to make mistakes. Create, for it is in creation that you exist. In this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. Absolutely. So find the truth in your own heart and extend that truth in the people that you want to share your life with. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to end this one. Whatever part of it resonated with you, I do hope that it offered you some clarity at this time. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. Thank you guys so very much. Congratulations on coming in number three for the bonus readings. And I hope you guys are doing well and stay safe out there. See you guys soon.